So today what we'll be doing is doing something called the litmus test. Now to do the litmus test, you need litmus paper. And because it's a lockdown, I don't actually have any litmus paper at home. And I went to the chemist and they didn't have any either. So instead I've made litmus paper strips. Now you get red litmus paper and blue litmus paper, and I'll show you why you need both in a second. And we're gonna stick to the three chemicals that we have been working with all along. Over here, we have bicarbonate of soda, which has been diluted in water. We have lemon juice, which has also been slightly diluted in water. And speaking of water, here is water. So when we're testing these liquids, we need to use both the red and the blue litmus paper, as you can see over here. And the reason for that is the following. When you put blue litmus paper into a base, and you pull it out, the blue litmus paper remains blue. So I always thinking of it as the three Bs, blue, base, blue. Does it make any sense? The blue remained blue, therefore it is a base. Hope that makes sense. When you put the red litmus paper in and you pull it out, the red litmus paper turns blue as well. Remember, blue, base. And therefore, we can tell that bicarbonate of soda is in fact a base. Moving on to lemon juice. If I take the red litmus paper and put it into the lemon juice, which we know is an acid, we can see that the red litmus paper remains red. Therefore, it is an acid. However, if we put the blue litmus paper in, and remember the blue remained blue in a base, this time, the blue litmus paper goes red, which indicates that the lemon juice here is indeed an acid. But the fun part comes when you get to water. When you take red litmus paper and put it in water, it remains red. And when you put blue litmus paper in water, it remains blue. So what does that mean? I would like you to think about that and you can let me know either in the comments below or in your science book. Happy experimenting.